Established by Jay and Betty Van Annel in 1996, Van Annel Institute is an independent research and educational organization based in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Through biomedical research and science education, Van Annel Institute is committed to improving the health and enhancing the lives of current and future generations. Breast cancer is a highly heterogeneous disease that has multiple subtypes with distinct clinical outcomes. Clinically, breast cancers are classified by hormone receptor status, including the estrogen receptor, progesterone receptor, and HER2 receptor. In the last decade, gene expression analyses have given us a more thorough understanding of the molecular heterogeneity of breast cancer. Even though early detection and targeted therapies have significantly lowered breast cancer mortality rates, there are still hurdles that need to be overcome. Four pressing clinical challenges include the improved detection of neoplastic lesions and identification of high-risk individuals, the development of predicted biomarkers for carcinomas that will develop resistance to hormone therapy or trastuzumab therapy, the development of clinical biomarkers to distinguish triple negative breast cancer subtypes, and the lack of effective monitoring methods and treatments for metastatic breast cancer. A main focus of our lab is to develop tissue slide-based diagnostic applications that integrate microRNA and protein biomarkers. This review presents a much further look at microRNA biomarkers for breast cancer management and their potential to address unmet clinical needs. Most microRNAs are transcribed by RNA polymerase II. Five gram capped and polyadenylated primary microRNA transcripts are short lived in the nucleus, where the microprocessor recognizes and cleaves the microRNA precursor herpin. The pre microRNA is exported out of the nucleus via Expo5 pathway. In the cytoplasm, the RNA type 3 dicer cleaves the mature microRNA from the precursor. Binding to partially complementary sites on the 3' UTR of target mRNAs in association with argonat containing RNA induced silencing complex is microRNA's main regulatory mechanism. Due to the low specificity of binding, a single microRNA can interact with hundreds of mRNAs and coordinately modulate the expression of corresponding proteins. The extent of microRNA-mediated regulation of different target genes varies and is influenced by the context and the cell type expressing the microRNA. Single nucleotide polymorphisms in the primary microRNA transcript or microRNA precursor can affect the stability, processing, and or abundance of biological active microRNA. Similarly, the SNPs in the coding sequence of proteins involved in microRNA processing, export, and or maturation can affect expression levels and activity of microRNAs. The SNPs within the functional sequence of mature microRNA or in the C-prime UTR of target mRNAs can decrease or increase the binding interactions, thereby altering protein output. Disruption of microRNA-mediated regulation can increase or decrease breast cancer risk depending on the tumor suppressive or oncogenic functions of a protein. Table 2 provides a comprehensive summary of microRNA-related SNPs linked to breast cancer. Self-free circulating microRNA molecules are very stable in blood. Circulating microRNAs may emanate from different cell types in the primary tumor lesion or systemically and reflect the number of lysed cancer cells or other cells in the tumor microenvironment, the number of cells expressing and secreting those particular microRNAs, and or the number of cells mounting an inflammatory or other physiological response against diseased tissue. Table 1 summarizes recent studies that compared changes in microRNA levels in blood between cancer cases and HMATCH healthy controls for discovery of circulating microRNA biomarkers. There is a clinical need for prognostic and predictive biomarkers that indicate which patients can be effectively treated with targeted therapies alone and which patients require more aggressive treatment with adjuvant chemotherapy and or radiotherapy. Some microRNAs can directly control expression levels of ER and HER2. Other microRNAs can affect output of ER and HER2 signaling. Table 3 and 4 summarize microRNA expression profiling studies in clinical tissue specimens that link individual microRNAs or microRNA signatures to drug resistance and disease outcome. Triple negative breast cancer is an aggressive and heterogeneous subtype. This molecular heterogeneity increases the difficulty of developing targeted therapies that will be effective in anesthetified patients. Table 5 summarizes microRNA expression profiling studies that link individual microRNAs or microRNA signatures with clinical outcome. Advances in the treatment of metastatic breast cancer have been marginal. Does molecular analysis of the primary tumor tissues reflect the evolution of the metastatic lesions? Are we treating the wrong disease? Table 6 summarizes microRNA expression changes in primary tumor, metastatic lesions, and or blood linked to metastatic breast cancer disease.
For more detailed information on this topic, please read full text of this review article in Breast Cancer Targets and Therapy.